Um, we will allow the RCMP to go through uh, the process and we have to respect that process. I know there's going to be a lot of uh, questions out there that we will endeavour to get the answers to in due course. Uh, what I will say is that after any accident or incident on our highways, there is an internal review that takes place. So that review is taking place right now. Uh, because of the extent of uh, the severity of this review, uh, we know we're prepared to go beyond that and bring in experts as as needed. We were able to interview some of the injured who were able to speak with us over the weekend. This is a very important part of the investigation, hearing from the people that were actually there. These were tough interviews to conduct. The autopsies of the deceased have, have started. This will begin the process of identifying the victims and will provide more information that will greatly assist our investigation and bring mo more closure to the family. As of this morning, 10 patients continue to be in hospital. Six are women, four are men, with their ages ranging in their 60s to their 80s. The last few days have been incredibly emotional for all of us. This is the worst tragedy in the history of our entire province, and most especially for the close-knit communities of Carberry and Dauphin. Um, I think people are just trying to figure things out. They're determining what their next steps are as, as we're trying to determine what our next steps will be. But I think there's just a general sadness in the community as people start to reflect on those that we've lost. Well, I mean, we're pulling together as a community, and that's the important part. And that's the, if, if, there's, a, if there's a glory to this, is that the community's pulling together and making sure that if anybody needs any help, if anybody needs some counselling, we're there for them. And that's what we want people to know, is that we are, we are aware of your needs, and please come forward and, and talk to us.